We're delighted to be back for the London Triathlon 2022. This is your event safety briefing, so please listen carefully as we run through everything you need to know to get you ready for your triathlon. Although we don't have any COVID-19 measures you need to follow, if you feel unwell before arriving, please follow relevant government guidance and continue to wash your hands regularly. Please arrive 90 minutes before your wave time and make your way to registration to pick up your race pack. This year, we'll be doing bag checks for all participants as you enter the event village, so please factor this into your arrival time. If you're participating in the Olympic or Olympic Plus waves on Sunday the 7th of August, we encourage you to pick up your race pack and rack your bike on Saturday the 6th of August between 3 and 6 p.m. In the week before the event, you'll be sent a QR code. You'll need this code ready on your phone or an old school printout to collect your race pack. On arrival, head to the chip collection lane that corresponds to your entry. Here, a member of the staff will scan your QR code and give you your race pack. This will include your unique race number, safety pins, a security wristband for transition, race number stickers to attach to your helmet and bike, and your timing chip. All timing chips must be returned once you've finished your race, so please do so in the trays provided at the finish line. This year, you'll pick up your swim cap at the swim assembly. Please note, this may be a different color to your race bib. There'll be a separate preparation area in which you can get yourself and your bike ready after chip collection. You'll not be allowed to enter transition until all items of your race pack are in the appropriate locations. Your timing chip is an ankle strap. To attach, fasten the Velcro around your ankle. We recommend pulling your wetsuit over your ankle strap for extra security during your swim. Have your helmet fastened and your bike ready before entering the queue for transition check-in. Walk along the top row until you find your allocated racking row and follow the instructions of the marshals to rack your bike. Once you're all set, head back the way you came and follow signs to the swim start. Aim to be at the swim start area 20 minutes before your wave starts. For 2022, there's a mix of both pulse and mass swim starts during the event schedule. See the wave schedule in the athlete guide for specific wave information. For a pulse start, participants will be pulsed out one by one. Your swim time will start when you cross the timing mat at the swim entry ramp. Please take your time entering the water by walking down the ramp into the water slowly. For a mass start, all participants in that wave will be gathered between two swim boys and started together. You'll still enter the water at the swim entry ramp, but you'll need to swim to the start boys and your wave and time will start when the start horn goes. I'm now going to explain the different swim courses. For the super sprint distance, swim to the first white boy, turn right and right again, and then at the next white boy, turn right to exit via the swim ramp. If you're taking on the sprint distance, you need to swim to the first set of red boys, keeping them on your right hand side, and then back to the final set of two red boys before exiting via the ramp. Olympic distance and Olympic plus participants, swim to the furthest set of red boys, keeping them on your right shoulder, turn and swim back to the red boys close to the exit. Again, keeping these boys on your right shoulder, you then swim to the exit ramp to complete your swim. If you get into difficulty during your swim and need assistance, simply roll onto your back, put one arm in the air, and a member of the water safety team will be on hand to support. When you've finished your swim, follow the path up towards the dockside doors, removing your wetsuit before you reach these doors. There'll be bags provided by marshals in which you must put your wetsuit, swim hat, and goggles. There's a flight of stairs here which could be wet, so please take care when you enter transition. Head up to the top of transition and find your numbered racking row. Run down your row until you reach your bike. Place your wetsuit bag within your racking space. Make sure you put your helmet on before you touch your bike and make sure you're wearing your race number on your back. Push your bike to the mount line following signs to bike out before getting onto your bike. It's a very steep descent off the concrete ramp, so please take extra care at the start of your ride. The bike courses are as follows. The super sprint complete one lap. And for the sprint distance, it's two laps of the shorter bike route between Learmouth and Galleons Roundabout. Olympic distance participants do one lap to Westminster and back, and then head to Billingsgate for a second shorter lap. For Olympic Plus riders, it's three laps of the Westminster route before heading back to Excel. Please ensure you're following the British Triathlon rules at all times. Key things to remember are no drafting or riding in packs. You must be 10 metres from the bike in front unless you're overtaking. No littering, no dangerous riding. Please ride on the left and overtake on the right, and don't be tempted to try and overtake on technical sections of the course. When you've completed your bike laps, the bike course finishes with a climb up a ramp back to transition. You must dismount your bike before reaching the dismount line and wheel your bike back to your racking spot in transition. You must rack your bike before removing your helmet. Once your running shoes are on, Head towards the run out sign. There's one aid station per lap of the run. 
Once you've sufficiently hydrated, please use the bins provided to discard your cup. The run laps are as follows. For super sprint, it's a single lap. For sprint distance, it's two laps, and it's three laps for both Olympic distance and Olympic plus. When you cross the finish line, you'll be asked to keep walking a short distance towards the recovery area. Here, you'll be asked to help yourself to drinks and a medal. Your timing chip is reusable, so please put these in the return bins provided at the finish. If you're in a relay team, we're asking you to use your timing chip as a baton. Simply pass the timing chip to your next team member between each leg of the triathlon. There's a team meeting point before the finish where all relay members can meet to run through the finish together. And that's it from us. We look forward to seeing you at the London Triathlon 2022.